What are these? Marshmallows. What is this? Golf cart. What do they have in common? They're both white, most commonly and always the quickest answer given. My favorite answer ever. And it came from the back of a room. Dude, they both float. <laughs> wow. All I can think of is, is, you know, A, how do you know that? And B, when do we tee off? In June of 2011, my, my then marketing person gave me a call. And she was in a panic. And she said, Steve, I sponsored the eighth hole at the Amherst New Hampshire Country Club tomorrow, and I need somebody to stand there all day and measure how far people can hit a marshmallow with a golf club, and I thought of you. <laughs> Sounds like me, sure. 6.45 the next morning, there I am sitting in a golf cart with a big gym bag overflowing with bags of marshmallows in my lap. And a woman came along and she hopped in and she looked down and said, the heck are you doing? I said, I'm measuring how far people can hit a marshmallow with a golf club. Ta -da! What do you do for a living? Because I can't imagine this is it. I said, actually, no, I'm a professional speaker. I blend back to basics motivation and humor. And I'm the motivational firewood guy. Oh. Do you have a card? Sure, give her a card. 15 months later, she called. And I found out I was sitting next to the CEO of one of the most successful real estate offices in Southern New Hampshire. I just did another, my seventh event for them two weeks ago. Another one in September, marshmallows and a golf cart. <laughs> that is the story people ask most. Did that one really happen? How would I make that up? <laughs> By the way, the record that day for distance was 144 feet, six inches. It was not frozen, and it almost took my head off. <laughs>